Hello everybody. Today I am going to create a, a WinForm application using C Sharp. So this application will uh, talk to OpenAI GPT model and then get a response back. This is basically a very simple version of a chat application where you will send a request to an OpenAI GPT model and then get a response back from the GPT model. So before we uh, progress further, let me just explain uh, or give you a background of uh, what are these models. So basically there are uh, different kinds of models. The open AI models are uh, based on their general purpose language models uh, developed by open AI and uh, like GPT-3, GPT-4, GPT-3 is a third generation uh, uh, model and then GPT-4 is a fourth generation language model. So uh, they are pre-trained, so there are some training happens to them so that they learn, these models learn new things and uh, then based on their learning, they will provide a response back. Similarly, chat GPT is also based on certain uh, language based models, but uh, you can call that these models, uh, the chat GPT is based on is more a, a like a subset of the open AI GPT models. So these chat GPT models are more on a uh, conversational, uh, so based on a conversational models. So which means they are optimized specifically for generating human like text in a conversational context. Whereas the open AI GPT models, now they are more like uh, trained on a broad data set, uh, broad data set that includes a, a wide variety of text from the internet. Uh, they are designed for uh, general purpose language understanding and generation. Uh, so, so today what we are going to do is that, so there are different open AI models. So we are going to talk to one of these open AI models and then we will uh, get the response back and then we will show it in our WinForm application. That is what I'm going to show you today. But before we progress on this, uh, you need to create, there are two things you need to do. One is that you need to create a secret key. Uh, so I have a video on that. Uh, I'll provide the link in the description, uh, how to create a secret key uh, using your uh, OpenAI platform. Now, once you create the key, you also need to uh so it is not free anymore so you have to uh, pay some amount so you have to uh, so the the amount is very uh, you know some some small amount you have to pay to them uh, so that you can use this uh, apis first you have to go to platform.openai.com and go to dashboard here you have the api keys so go here and then create the secret key here okay now after you have done that, you may have to add a billing information. So click on this settings link here. You have this billing. So click on the billing and then add payment details. So an individual select this and then enter your card information, name on the card, billing details, and then continue. And then those payment details will be added to your account. So then you will get some credit, right? Based on what you have selected. So based on that, you will get some credit and, uh, then you can make a call to this api so the next step is that we will create a new project so open your visual studio 2022 uh, again if you're new to visual studio world it is free the community edition is free you can download it from microsoft's website uh, i have video on that you can go through the video and see how you can download and install it so after you have done all the installation open visual studio 2022 create a new project so here uh, select C sharp windows and then uh, in the template you here search for windows form so you can see windows form app has opened up on the top so select this and click on next here give a name to your application winform chat uh, gpt so let's give this uh, this name winform chat gpt app so you can select the location or provide a location you can paste your location here and then go to next so here in this screen you have to use the dotnet version which you want to use i have the latest 8.0 version so i'm going to use it and then click on create so now the project has been created you can see a form1.cs on the right side a program.cs uh, class is also here 
uh, which has some default code so what we need to do is go to this form uh, 1.cs design mode and here you should go to view and then toolbox which is here or control alt x so toolbox and then this toolbox will come up here so we have to drop few controls on this uh, on this form here right so the two controls will be so one will be a text box which is this then one more text box and then a button control so let's give some names to this so we can hide this and go to properties so again if you don't see properties then right click properties okay and this will appear here let's give a name the name will be text box input and this one will be text box output here So make multiline is true. Similarly for this also multiline true. So we have to little bit adjust it like this. And then we have button here. So the name of the button will be button send and uh, the text that will be on the button is send so these are your three controls so one is for input one is for uh, the button and another is for the output we can make the output as read only because we don't want to edit this so uh, so here read only can be set to true now before we move further we have to first add a NuGet package called as Newton Soft JSON. so go to your project right click and manage NuGet package go to browse and soft, uh, search here Newton Soft. click on this install So your package has been installed now. Now add some usings here. So you can see runsoft.json has been added. So I have added this method here, so which will basically call the API and get the response. Now you can see I have provided an API key here, so you have to give your own API key uh, here. Uh, so this API key will not work for you uh, so this is a demo API key so it will not work for you but you have to uh, provide an API key similar to this uh, with your uh, with your for your application now go down here and uh, you can see that we have created a client object which is called as the HTTP client object and then before you use this client object you need to set certain properties so like headers and then the body so headers and body has been set here and then we are we are then uh, using this content we are then uh, we are setting the content here and then we are calling this post async method basically we are passing the content uh, or basically posting the content to the client so this is the endpoint of the api and uh, we are setting the where we are we are posting the content here you can see the model used here is gpt 3.5 turbo there are different models now this is the model which is available now uh, maybe after some time this model may not be available and it will be deprecated then you have to use whatever model is uh, is appearing in the uh, open ai platform so for example go to dashboard and here you can see these models which are available right now so i am using this model 3.5 turbo uh, when you are watching this video if the model has changed so you have to use that particular model name so only when you use the right model name this then only this code will work so so this is the code so we are, you are posting it and then you are getting a response back from the response you are reading the string and then deserializing it 
and then uh, displaying the uh, basically the you are retrieving the test and we have to display it in the test box to the code to display in the test box box i'll write it down now so go back to your design and then double click this so it will create the event handler for the for the send button now i am going to write the code for so the code that will call this method which we have written here so to get the response and the second part of this code will be to uh, display the response in the text box here so which is this text box so it is it will get the response display it here so now you can see the code it is a very simple few lines of code so first is it is reading the user input tech, uh, it is creating it i have created a user input uh, variable here so which is reading the text box input and then uh, i am calling this get chat gpt response which is basically the method which is written here so get chat gpt response and then once you get the response you are just displaying the response in the output text box so that's all you have to do now let's build it and then run it so now uh, the application is running and the form has opened here so i'll ask some questions uh, to the uh, gpt model here and then we'll see what response comes back so now you can see the application is running the form has opened so you have your input text here so let's uh, talk to the gpt model so let's first say hi and click on send then it got a we got a response back which is saying hello how can i help you today so then let's ask what model it is based on what model you are based on click on send so i am based on the gpt 3.5 turbo model yeah that's the right thing let's ask another question what is the sum of 100 and 200 click on send and you can see the sum of 100 and 200 is 300 so like this you are getting response back from the gpt model so you can ask whatever questions you have but there is a rate limit so based on that if you ask too many questions based on your payment mechanism it will respond if you have asked too many questions so it may come back too many requests error and you have to wait for another minute before you want to try right depends on what kind of subscription uh, you have enrolled yourself to so yeah so that's the basic chat application you can enhance it add more code and all those things uh, to this application i uh, hope this video uh, is going to be helpful to you so uh, please like subscribe and comment on this video and let me know what do you think about this thank you very much